Back in the kitchen is the wonderful, lovely, vibrant, bubbly, gorgeous Emma Dean. Thanks, Ben. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Season five of MasterChef, and you won. Two of my best friends won MasterChef. We're, you're a pretty lucky guy, aren't I'm you? I'm very lucky We're guy. lucky to have you as a best friend too, uh, so, you know. Thank you very right. much. So the good thing about having friends that have won MasterChef is they bake for you. I love cake. So I do love I. Cake. I love gardening and baking, and this is one of my favourite cakes that has rhubarb, which I grow, and then cake, to I eat. Rhubarb, cake, eat. I can't wait. Now, Emma has told me this is the best cake I'm ever going to taste. It's pretty good. It's ugly, but it's delicious. The ugly duckling of cakes. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we do? All right, so we're going to cream together the butter, the sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla. Raw sugar. Yeah, raw sugar. It gives a nice caramely flavour. It's uh, it's really, it's, it's, it's great. So it's not going to be a light and fluffy cream, but it's, it's the best that we can do. So we've got um, butter and sugar, fair bit of sugar. But There's it's, a lot it's good. of sugar there. Yep. And we've got two eggs. Crack those eggs in. They go in straight away? Yep. With everything? All, all in together. It's easy, it's not, there's, it's an easy one. Oh, this is what I love about yeah, your good, recipes. Good bang for your buck. It's just simple and I easy. I like bang for your buck. I can do fancy, but why bother when this is, tastes so, so good. good. Yeah. And, and um, the seeds of one vanilla bean or half vanilla bean or um, a nice teaspoon of the vanilla paste, which is, which is really good as well. So we're just gonna cream that together. So cream that until Nice and creamy. Happy with that? Yep, that's good. That's as good as it's, it's going to get. It, uh, it's loosely termed cream. Yeah. It's kind of mixed together vigorously until it's kind of mixed and a bit fluffy. But it's, it's not, it's just mixed. It's just mixed. <laughs> it's just mixed. Well. What's next? <laughs> okay, so we're going to put in some flour and some bicarbonate soda. My recipe says to to um, sift them together, Is but it? if we're if we're in a rush, you can just kind of let me just check. Make sure you're on track here. Yes, it's it does. Sift. Sorry, sift them together. And one right. teaspoon of the uh, cinnamon. But that's when I was worried about being very chefy because my first book. So you can just pop it in. Yeah. So mixing the, the the reason for sifting was to get all these ingredients kind of together. And now we're just. We just do that. So just dump that in. You can smell that beautiful cinnamon, yeah. huh? So good. All right. We'll fight that. Bring it together. Bring it together. Just gently. Gently, gently. So the raw sugar really does change the consistency of this, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it really makes it caramely. When it bakes, it really caramelizes up and creates a beautiful caramely cake. It's really good. And I find raw sugar gives a good crust to the outside of the cake as Such well. Such a great, great crust, great crust. Happy for that? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're going to put in the zest of one orange and the creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. Beautiful creme fraiche. I love creme fraiche. It's so nice, isn't it? It's so decadent and delicious. Good for you too. It's got the, you know, the probiotics, right? Yeah. You know, all, the, all the things. And we need to chop up this rhubarb really quickly. Can you do that? Are you I'll the, the nice skills? We can sub out. And I can get this mixed through because the um, mixture is quite quite dry. Need how, to get that. How thin? I like to have little battens about an inch. Battens about an inch. Yeah, a bit less than that. A bit less? Yeah, that's good. That was about a millimetre difference. <laughs> A lot of people think that if you eat the leaves of rhubarb, it's going to kill you. You, you don't have a, you die. You're the gardener here. They're, they're high in oxalic acid, so they leach the calcium out of your bones. Um, so you know, won't die, but it's not good for you. Not good for you. No. Okay. Um, and so we're going to fold this into our mixture. So the cake mixture is, looks quite dry, um, but the rhubarb has a real lot of moisture in it. So we're putting in the, ru the raw rhubarb into this cake mixture. And pop that in. Pop that in. So it's great, it's great cake mixture, great cake recipe. Anyone can make this, anyone. And rhubarb is quite sour, so that's probably explains why there's so much sugar at the yeah. beginning of the cake. Yeah. It's very, very tart rhubarb. There we go. It's good to go. Into the baking dish. Got it. Great. So just dump the mixture in, or place it in gently. <laughs> no, dump it in. My mum would like that. Place it in gently. Now your mum gave you a tip when you were coming on, didn't she? Yeah. What did she tell you? To smile, <laughs> not, not to say 
Yeah, and nah. <laughs> yeah, and nah. Yeah, and nah. And dunno. You don't do those things. No, I say arm a bit. That's right. It is very dry, isn't it? It's very dry, but the, the rhubarb releases all this moisture and it turns into this amazing, really moist cake. Okay, smooth out the, the mixture. It's pretty nubby. Look, look how nubby it is. It's, it's not an attractive cake, but that's all right. Try not to make too much of a mess, but you know. That's, those words never come out of your mouth, Emma Dean. <laughs> I'm a nice person. Well, obviously I'm starting to train you because you're starting to think about not making too much of a mess. I know, right? Okay, do you have a tea towel? There you go. Right. Thank you. And then we put on a topping. We put on some brown sugar. Some more caramel flavour. More caramel. We mix in we mix in the rest of the cinnamon into the brown sugar, and then we just sprinkle it over the top. This just gives you again a little bit of a crumb on top. Yeah, because we're going to put on the juice of the one orange on the on top of the baked cake when it comes out of the oven. Ah, very nice. So it creates kind of this lovely syrupy, natural syrupy goodness. Very nice. And there we go. Good to go into the oven. For how long and at what temperature? Put it in the oven for for 180 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. Now you said it was an ugly duckling, but I'm sure it it's going to taste good. Oh, look at that nice crusty bit. Oh, the best bit. Bit of rhubarb. Yum, yum, yum. So yeah, I'm going to get into this. 